Once upon a time in a small village nestled between rolling hills and babbling brooks, there lived a young artist named Kiko. Kiko had a unique gift, he could capture moments of pure beauty on canvas. His paintings were so lifelike that they seemed to breathe and dance with the wind. One day, a rumor spread that a famous art critic was passing through the village. Kiko saw this as a chance to showcase his talent and make a name for himself. He started working tirelessly on a grand masterpiece that would surely astonish the critic. Day and night, Kiko slaved away, mixing colors, perfecting strokes, and detailing every petal and leaf. He painted with his mind already in the future, imagining the praises, the recognition, and the glory he would receive when the critic marveled at his creation. As the day of the critic's arrival drew near, Kiko's excitement grew, but so did his anxiety. He fretted over every brushstroke, every shade of color, and every single detail. He even skipped meals and forgot to sleep, consumed by his obsession to impress. On the morning of the critic's visit, Kiko stood before his grand masterpiece, exhausted and nervous. But just as he took a step back to admire his work, he tripped over his own feet and stumbled right into the canvas, splattering paint everywhere. His masterpiece was ruined, and Kiko was devastated. As he sat amidst the chaos, feeling defeated, a gentle breeze rustled the leaves of a nearby tree. Kiko looked up and saw an old man sitting there, calmly observing the scene. With a kind smile, the old man said, My dear painter, it seems you've forgotten the true art you possess. Kiko wiped away a tear and sighed, I thought the art was in creating a masterpiece to impress others. The old man chuckled softly, No, my friend. The art lies in being present in each moment you create. Your mind was so caught up in the future that you missed the beauty of the present. Your true masterpiece is not just on that canvas but in every stroke, every color, and every breath you take while painting. Kiko looked at his splattered canvas, and then at his hands covered in paint. He realized the truth in the old man's words. The beauty wasn't just in the finished painting, it was in the process, in the feeling of each brushstroke, in the connection between himself and the canvas. With newfound understanding, Kiko began to paint again. This time, he painted with joy, with love, and with presence. He lost himself in each stroke, delighting in the interplay of colors and the dance of his brush. The ruined canvas transformed into something even more vibrant and alive than before. The critic arrived, and as he gazed at Kiko's new creation, his eyes widened in awe. This is truly remarkable, he said. I can feel the energy and life in every stroke. Kiko smiled humbly, his heart filled with contentment. He had learned that the art of being present wasn't just about impressing others, but about connecting with the essence of life itself. And so, Kiko continued to paint, not for the future's applause, but for the pure joy of the present moment. His paintings captured the hearts of all who saw them, reminding everyone that true art, like life, is most beautiful when lived fully in the now.